Welcome to 1382. Once again, we are not doing a live beginning, but I will do my best to have the same effect. So Cecilia had her third baby die. It was very, very sad. I am totally bummed about that. I really wish we would have an air by now. Um, but there is that. We did have Melanie and Maud age up. Melanie is not going to have children, so she went to the church where there's a vampire waiting. Uh-oh, but that's okay. And then uh, Arnold did pass away, as did Adeline. If I could ever find her, she's somewhere over here. But um, these pictures are so small. They're so teeny, teeny, tiny. Like, how am I supposed to find her? There she is. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there she was, and she, you know, it's very sad. She did not have any children, and um, the Harlow family has officially died out. So um, you can see we have uh, a new gray family. That's the Dutton family. I forgot to add them in there, but we still have a red and, like, beige available. Um, so there is that. We need to get three different people married. <laughs> also, Anne will be passing away this year. We'll see if Regina survives. Um, and we did have a couple babies be born in the middle of the night off screen. So um, there is that. We are going to uh, roll for Regina first. And she survives. She had a special vampire roll. And, um, oh, actually, you know what? The, the, the beige family will have a color still. So, um, only red is available currently, <laughs> but anyway, um, yes. So we are going to roll to see if she gets married. She does. How many children will she have? How come everyone rolls a 12? Like literally everyone is rolling a 12 and I don't know why my life is like this. You know, <laughs> everyone is rolling a 12. It's just making my life hard. Um, I do not actually put vampires on the calendar because they get all the time in the world. But we are full of future weddings. Look at all of this. But it's okay because we're getting uh, three different Sims married this year. So that'll be good. So there's Regina at the end here. And we are going to do our vampire rolls as well. Uh, Anne will be dying. We have a lot of birthdays here, including Nicolette's and Alexander's. So Alexander's is the one I am most worried about because he's our husband. Who are we going to We're going to have to remarry if we lose him because we don't have any heirs, and I'm really stressed out about it. As you know, I am really stressed out about the no heir situation, as I was at the beginning of this chat. I feel like every, every generation I start to get stressed, but this is very stressful. <laughs> so... Um, we are going to roll for a bunch of vampires and their uh, human counterparts if they have them. So um, actually quite a few of these sims have died. So I am just keeping a little list here and we are going to roll for them. Survives. Survives. Remember, we need a nine and a three to die. So we're in good shape here. So far, so good. No nines and threes together. And then we have two uh, human spouses on this line. We have uh, Eric and Jillian. So Eric and Jillian, neither of them can get an 18 or they'll be accused. So that's all set there. And then in the next row, we have those three children down there. Both of their parents are dead. No 18s for all of them. They're all human. Looking good so far. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have, um, we do have one human daughter, but she married into another family. So she is no longer under suspicion. You're only under suspicion if you carry the last name. Our son checked out. So did his wife, Millicent. And they currently uh, do not have any children. And then we have a human child over here. She's all set. We have um, children here. Quite a few children now, but um, I'm going to roll for them as if they were human unless they are confirmed vampires. So here we go. And there we go. No problems there. So nobody is dying from vampire stuff this year, which is really excellent. And um, just what did I do there? Why is there three there? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I don't even know why that's there. But anyway, um, everything's fine. I don't know where that three came from. I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't know it, and I just don't care. So anyway, 
um, we are going to do marriages this time. So uh, as you can see, my plan in the spreadsheet as to who is going to marry who, except for Benedict, who... Um, so I always try to look for Sims in my world first. I don't want to keep creating new Sims for every single marriage because I feel like that would be bad. So uh, what I do do is I try to find someone that already lives that I can marry them to. You know, it's a small town. Weird kind of inbreeding happens <laughs> with your second cousins. Um, but yes, so that's what I'm trying to do. I could find it for everyone except for Benedict. We are going to roll, roll, roll. Looks like we're all good there. So Charles now has a son, Charles II, him and Millicent. So their first child is Charles II, and he did survive, which is great. So that is excellent. We do not know yet if Charles is a vampire. So let's uh, head over here and put him in, and then we will uh, get flirty with our wife. Oh, another baby, and that baby also lives. Everybody's babies are alive but ours. <laughs> Why is my life like this? Okay, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jack, how did they say that back then? I, I mean, now I would just say Jacqueline, but I don't know. Anyway. So we are going to, oh, with sentiment, how sweet. They're so in love, you guys. These two are soulmates. I love them. Oh, they're just like, really, you know, it's always been them. They've always felt this way about each other since they were children. It's really great. Uh, eating at the table together. This is just so sweet. The perfect little family. I love it. Okay, that's your baby. And there she goes on to the uh, spreadsheet. And then, yep, you're all set too. Okay, let's figure this out. I can math, I promise. <laughs> so then we are going to, again, read the parenting books in order to get Cecilia's uh, skill up because that is the skill that she needs because she is a midwife. And then we also have Alexander getting his... Uh, handiness skill up because that is what he needs as a blacksmith so there are both of those things going on and then we will just keep on the grind very very important for us and we are going to do the laundry yeah we're in good shape so they are just continuing to work as hard as they can on all of their chores and to you know get promoted in their jobs because they want to have good strong uh, lives you know we're not making as much money off of actually working as we would off of like our farm and stuff so it's really important that they work hard and they try hard and you know we're kind of living a different life now so it's just something we're working on it's very nice very nice indeed so Okay, we're not going to prom. That's not something we do. Maybe in the future I'll have them go to prom, but not right now. So they are asleep. And my dog is now awake. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get something to eat for you. Yes, I know you're very hungry. It's really quite hard. I don't know. And there we go. Okay, let's get something to eat the both of you. You're all set now. Excellent. Well, you can go and do some woohooing because I want a baby. I need an heir and you need to give me one. So, you know, it's important. It's important to me. I know it's important to them, too, because I know that they, I mean, I created them. I know what they want. They want a family, and they don't have one. So they are going to work very, very hard at building a good life for their future children. We're just doing our thing as peasants. Well, we're not peasants anymore. We're lower, we're lower class. <laughs> we're lower class, but we're, um, you know, not peasants anymore. We're not at the bottom rung. We're like another rung up. <laughs> We're not middle class, though. I wouldn't consider us, you know, nicely middle class, but that's okay. We don't need to be. 
I mean, maybe we are. I don't really know what middle class looks like back then. I mean, I guess this is could be middle class. Like, they both have jobs. They're living relatively comfortably. I mean, they don't have a ton of money um, saved, and they're not making a ton of money, but they have enough to live off of. I don't, I don't really know the definition of the class system in this time period. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at. <laughs> we're more well off than we started. So that is all that matters. So they are actually doing really good with their needs right now. And our laundry is looking excellent. So there's that. Let's get you back working on what you need to work on. Also, um, I want I want some green beans. <laughs> I really do. Um, why did you bring your food, your book with you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you know what? It's fine because I got what I wanted, and that's all that matters. And I got some milk too because now we can, if we get some milk, we can make some uh, mashed potatoes. We can make some butter, and we can have, um, you know. What's the word? Yeah, like we can have mashed potatoes. So it's fine. So why are you... She's not sick. She's sick and she doesn't feel good and everything is is a problem. Okay, you left your book here. Hey, she thinks she's still holding it, but she left it there. No, go get it. <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Oh, okay. We just had to walk all the way there and back twice. All right, we'll clean up. We'll, we'll get things going on her needs and um, we can make some butter and then we can make some mashed potatoes that'll be great it'll be very very happy so let's just cue that up and he's asleep but he's gonna be hungry shortly oh my gosh my sink broke okay he's fixing the sink and then mopping it up and then we're upset because we're hungry. I know. You just got to hold out for me until we make some butter. wonder what would happen if you just ate a stick of butter. Oh, that sounds awful. It like It's too, like, greasy to just eat the butter plain. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone eat butter plain? Let me know. Who just eats butter? I feel like I need to know this, and I need to know why. Like, I need to know why. Does it taste good? I mean, flavored butter I could probably get behind. Like, you know, like maybe like apple cinnamon butter or something. I don't know. I need more information on this. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter, but I'm interested. So there's our first batch of mashed potatoes. And, oh, he's really tired. She's really tired. No, she's tired. He's not tired. But, you know, you know how it goes. And I am going to, I was hoping to get something that makes tea so that we could, um, we could, uh, what's the word? She's sick. So we want to get healthy and we can do that by drinking like healthy tea or whatever. So I feel like that would be a good remedy for this time period, but I'm going to be completely honest. Also, we're pregnant again, finally, hopefully this baby lives. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if tea was in England at this time. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> and because I don't know, we're just going to pretend that if there was tea at this time, it's tea. If, if there wasn't, then it is some other remedy <laughs> that they can do. Um, anyway, so it is Valentine's day so we can be romantic, be like, they're finally pregnant. They must be, well, Honestly, okay, if I were her and I just had three babies die, I would be probably pessimistic because she's probably scared that she's going to have another baby that dies. Like, that's a very real fear for her because it's happened so many times to her. It's very scary, like, you know? Anyway, we're being optimistic. I really need an heir for this family, so we're being optimistic. Um, okay, so let's head over here. We're going to start with the marriages, and the first one is going to be, um, Benedict, who is now getting married to the lovely Felice, and they have 10 baby tries. Very sweet. And, 
um, Felice. There we go. So here they are, and we are really hoping that things go well for them. He is the current Lord. Uh, I am hoping that they both survive because I have a story planned for them, um, you know, soonish. I forget what year I was planning on having their story, but uh, if he survives to young adulthood, I will do that for them. I know it feels like we haven't, well, we had some stuff with, like, the affair, and I don't know. I just feel like the last episode or, or two has been very much about grinding and not as much about, like, story. So, it's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, here is um, Christina, who is a Leifson, um, but we also have um, the... Axtell man who came and you know brought Mabel back to the family and had her marry um, Henry to Vitor and um, yes so all of that happened and um, he was just like a representative of the Axtell family he's a little bit older than everyone else and um, he's been taking care of these children and just all of this stuff. He has not yet been able to, um, you know, get a wife because of all of those responsibilities and everything. Also, um, it looks like he has um, the uh, super parent trait, which is really nice for taking care of other people's children, but he also has the clever trait, uh, which is from base mental. So maybe he's been having some trouble finding a wife because of that. So also because he's older and he couldn't get like a prime young lady. So, uh, because of that, he, uh, ended up having to marry a lady that had a little bit of a lower status, which is our Christina. So that's what happened there. So Emmerich is now married to Christina, and uh, here she is. I mean, she has kind of lived in, you know, very low class. Like, she wasn't as low as we started, but, you know, she had a lot of brothers and sisters, and her parents didn't really work that much, so it was tough for them. Um, but she is happy to be, you know, nicely taken care of at this time. Let's get her pregnant. And let's also uh, add him to the tree. He is already a regular adult, so I just added um, the years until he ages up. So he'll only live for five more years. Um, so she will, you know, be able to get a maximum of five children out of him. So that's what's going on there. And um, we are also going to get Vincent married, and he will get married to. Uh, Sybil, I believe. Uh, so he is very wealthy. So yes, Sybil. So he is very wealthy. He inherited the entire estate. He was the only child. So, um, you know, he is marrying a the daughter of the Lord because of that, because he has a lot of money. He was able to get her. So here she is, and she is now in pink. Very sweet. And... We are going to now go get them pregnant. That's what we need to do. Do, 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 do. So we're heading into their household to get them pregnant. That will be the last marriage that we're worried about. Yes, the last marriage that we're worried about uh, for today. So that'll be exciting. Here we go. Neither of you are at your house. Why are you here? Okay, there we go. Oh, why did it say they weren't? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get them in a relationship. Very sweet. And then let's get them together. He's a good looking guy. You could do worse. Um, he's rich and he's good looking and he's your age. I think this is, you know, a win. <laughs> so they are going to woohoo and we will be all set. She is now pregnant and we are heading out. So everyone is married and in good shape. So Vincent and Sybil, 12 tries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 12 tries. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. And then I will just give a quick makeover here as well. 
there she is. I mean, this is a lovely dress, Regina. You look great, but uh, this is not what you were allowed to wear in this time period. Okay. Uh, she wants to be a master vampire. Love that for her. At least she got an appropriate aspiration for her, uh, you know, status as a vampire. So let's get her into some stuff. Very nice. You can do it. Um, she is the youngest child of Christiana and Caleb. And the last child because they died. Um, very sad for us. So that happened. And now we are just going to kill Anne. Poor Anne. I loved her. She was awful. Um, no, she was she was uh, the person we had an affair with. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe we did that. So I actually absolutely can't believe we did that because, you know, me, I'm I'm just like that. So it's fine. <laughs> I've got issues. Um, OK. So we are now going to kill her. Come on, let's go. Come to me. And then, uh, yep. Okay, summon a sim to here. And kill the sim. All right. There she goes. I know it's very sad, but we have to move on. It's okay. So she is going to die any second now. If Grim would just do his thing, like you need to do your job a little more quickly. Grim, I'm sure you have a lot to get to. It's just uh, a thing. Why am I having such trouble placing this? Okay, and we are really filling up this mausoleum. But we won't be using blue anymore, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I guess we could still use blue depending on who lives. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's um, now head home. We're going to head home. We are in the color yellow now because we're a Walter. So that's great. And she is pregnant. Oh, I'm so happy that she's pregnant again. I mean, we really needed it. <laughs> we really needed it. So that's the way that it is. And uh, it is now going to be Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And we're just sleeping through the night, except for her, because she's really hungry and got to go to the bathroom. And, I mean, that's what happens when you're pregnant. So, um, you know, it's just what happens. Oh, he's going to work. Okay, she's going to work. All right. So they're both going to work. And uh, Easter starts tomorrow. That's very nice. So I'm just going to fast forward a bit. And then we're going to come over here and roll, roll, roll. Uh, so it looks like Evelina is fine and she's going to marry. So there she is. And here she goes on to here. And now we're going to roll for Nicolette. It's, oh, 13 Nicolette dies. 2, 6, 11, 13, 14 is a problem. 2, 6, 11, 13, 14. Alexander got a 2. Our husband just died. You guys, our husband just died. Our husband. Our husband that we need. Our husband who does not have any sons. Our husband, that husband. Oh my gosh. And Nicolette died. Nicolette was next after um, Cecilia. How does this happen to me? I feel like, well, now you're not going to complete the soulmate aspiration. Just forget about that. Why is my life like this? Can you believe that just happened to me? I mean, why do I have all the bad luck? I feel like every, I mean, maybe that's not true, but I feel like I watch a lot of other people's decades challenge and they're all, all their Sims are so happy and my Sims are always sad. <laughs> I'm just so unlucky. Okay. Well, goodbye, Alexander. Goodbye. We're going to try to, we're going to try to, um, plead for him. We can do this. We can plead for him. Grim, could you just come so I can plead for my husband? Because he's dying, and I'm pregnant, and we don't even have a son. And what if this baby dies too? And, I, ugh, you know, it's just, I'm just standing here. You're just standing here. Alexander is dead. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Why am I so unlucky? It's like I know in my heart that it's always going to go badly. <laughs> She's going to have to get remarried. There's just no way around it. Um, okay, let's plead. 
Please, please, please don't kill. Look at me. I'm pregnant. Don't kill my husband. Pretty please. I need him. You can't kill him. You really, really can't. You can't. He can. He will. He's going to kill him. Oh, my gosh. Why? <sighs> All right. You know what? We're wrapping up here. We're wrapping up here. Our husband is dead. Our sister is dead. We are pregnant. It's a disaster. Everything's a disaster. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. Why am I so unlucky? Okay, well, that's that. That's the way life is. Everything's fine. We're wrapping up. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>